Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and today I am back with a collective haul. Uh, these are perfumes that I have picked up um, in November and then on into December. Uh, stuff that I've just kind of been collecting here and there, so I thought I would just get on and share them with you. So we will start with a um, with one that I just blind bought. It was really inexpensive, and so I just grabbed it. And this is Halston Woman Amber. Um, I will tell you, little one is she's home from school today. She's out for Christmas break, so it's going to be really hard for me to get filming done um, without her wanting to pop in. So these last couple videos, uh, this is the last one for the day. So these last couple videos will be featuring my little mini me, Charlotte. So. Um, anyways, back to the fragrance. This is Halston Woman Amber, and this I bought, I'm not going to lie, not only because it was really inexpensive and it's an amber perfume, which I adore, but this bottle is crazy. It's so cool. It's like this crazy gold, um, really pretty bottle. Uh, this, the fragrance is okay. It's a nice amber, but I've got so many good amber perfumes in my collection that this this reminds me a lot of Prada's amber. So if you are a fan of Prada amber, put those down. We're not there yet. If you're a fan of Prada amber, oh my gosh, this is such a much, much cheaper alternative to that. And it smells very, very similar. So that's the first one that I picked up. Okay, you want to go with those ones? You all right? Okay, let's talk about those ones next, since you got them out. Okay, these are two little decants that I picked up from um, Mercari. There is a seller on Mercari, which, and I would totally recommend her to anybody. Um, all of her fragrances are completely legit. You can feel confident that you're getting real perfume from her, uh, real decants, but her uh, page on Mercari is called, I feel like I'm in an ASMR video right now. <laughs> She's like making the noises behind my head and that's exactly what it smell, smells like, sounds like, is the ASMR. Um, but anyways, she, her page on Mercari or her shop on Mercari is called Perfume for Paws and um, her, the proceeds from her sales go to rescuing animals or rescuing dogs, so, which I adore and um, I will totally support her any way I can and I do because I buy these decants and I love them. Um, this is Scandal by Night by Jean-Paul Gaultier. I've heard a lot about this fragrance. Um, I am not the biggest fan of the original Scandal, so that's why I just went ahead and bought a um, decan of this one. I definitely like this better than Scandal. Stop. I definitely like this better than Scandal. I'm trying to do but I, some more. Yeah, but I still don't love it. Um, it's really, really synthetic smelling to me. But it is syrupy and sweet and sexy and beautiful. Ma, sexy is not a word for kids. It, you're right, it's not. It's um, it's nice, but I'm I wouldn't buy a full bottle of it. It lasts really, really well on the skin, though. It lasts forever, and yeah, it's really a, a very pretty fragrance, just not for me. So there's that one. What is that? Oh, I love that one. Let's talk about that one next. This is again another decant from Perfume for Paws. And let's get the whole little lid out of there. And you can, um, I think she's opening an Etsy shop as well. So you'll soon be able to pick like your uh, atomizer, color, and all that kind of stuff. So anyways, this is Maison Margela. I'm sorry, she's dropping bags back here. Uh, this is Maison Margela uh, Replica lipstick on. This is a gorgeous powdery makeup iris almond beautiful beautiful fragrance. I want a full bottle of this now. It's so stunning. Um, I really really love this. So yeah Maison Margiela replica lipstick on. I love it and yeah that's another decant that I picked up. Okay uh, let's get into this one. So I have um, all of the Charlies except for Charlie White, which is the one that I used to wear back in the 80s. I mean, it's one of the first perfumes I ever wore. So if you're ever wondering, the very first perfume I ever wore, um, ever, that I ever remember wearing, I started wearing when I was like, I don't know, eight or nine years old, it was Debbie Gibson's Electric Youth. 
I am dying for a bottle of that. It's just very, very expensive if you can get your hands on it. And I have a feeling that it probably smells terrible. Hey, what are you doing, silly girl? I have a feeling that it will probably smell terrible because they don't make it anymore. And they are vintage bottles from who knows when. And I just, if they weren't stored properly, they're really going to smell bad. So um, I'm scared to spend that kind of money on something that is just might be really bad. So, but anyways, Debbie Gibson's Electric Youth. That was my first perfume. Uh, I also wore Char Charlie White, which I have also ordered a vintage bottle of because they don't produce that anymore. Um, they do, but it's not the same, and it's produced like in or made in Spain or something, and it's not the same. But I did. I'm waiting on a bottle of Charlie White to get here. But um, I do have Charlie Red and the original Charlie, and I just picked up this Charlie Gold. So, hey, Ma. what, baby? You should start doing ASMR. Mm. Yeah, I don't know how to do ASMR though. You just you just eat things and make weird noises oh. that are soothing. That are soothing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Charlie Gold. This is a really beautiful, vintagey, comforting, warm. It's just good. I just love this. So this is really nice. This is Charlie Gold, and this is an Eau Fraiche. So I picked this up for a really good price, and I'm really happy I had that. Okay, I picked up some fragrances from H&M on Black Friday because they were having a really good sale, so I'll just quickly go over the ones that I picked up. Uh, I picked up this one, H&M Chalk, and this is Milk Chocolate. Straight up, Milk Chocolate. It smells so good like chocolate. Yeah. These were like four dollars too for these little baby ones. These are just twenty mil bottles, but for four bucks, I they mean they look like a fat baby. Yeah. The next speaking of baby, the next one I picked up is called Cashmere and this smells like straight up baby powder to me. Let me smell. I was hoping that Oh uh, yes it does. Yeah, I was hoping it would smell like, I don't know, something warm and creamy and woody and you know, cashmere. More like, like a warm blanket or a cashmere sweater. But maybe this, like sort of like cloaked or something. Yeah. Or maybe like a tree. Yeah, something nice, right? Well, it doesn't smell nice. It smells like baby powder or diaper cream. Or like Straight my butt. Up. Stop that. Don't <laughs> say that. It smells like diaper cream. That's exactly what it smells like. It smells like something I used to put on your butt before I put on your diapers. That's what it smells like. <laughs> it's, it's, it smells like... It smells, oh. like, it smells like a poopy diaper. <laughs> yeah. This next one that I picked up is so good. Mm -hmm. This one was more expensive. I want to say even on sale, this one was like 20 bucks or something like that. Okay, this is called Vanilla Malagasy, if I'm saying that. I'm probably butchering that, but Vanilla Malagasy. This smells like Rich Warm Addictive from Zara. Almost exactly it's really, really nice. This is so nice on the skin. It lasts really, really well. In fact, I think this one lasts a little bit longer than the Zara one. Um, yeah, this is just really good. So I picked up that one. Uh, the next one is another vintage that I picked up, and I'm really excited to have this one as well. This is Ciara Femme Fatale by Revlon. So it's still got like a little tag on the top that says $15. If I can get my camera Hello. to focus on that. Focus. Wakasi. Yeah, come on. Come on, Wakasi. Well, I guess you could probably get the gist. I don't know why it won't focus, camera. Okay, so anyways, um, it says clearance 50% off Revco Retail. I don't know if Revco is a store. It probably is. But again, Ciara Femme Fatale um, by Revlon. And it just comes in this cute little bottle. I think it's like half an ounce. If you're wondering what, what that thing back there is, it's a cap. And she's yeah, so close cute. to half an ounce, not even a half ounce. Uh, this reminds me a lot of uh, Emerige by Givenchy. Except it's a little bit... Mom, I think you're disturbing the cat by talking. Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe. Kitty's in my space. I think, I think that you mm. should like, use sign language. It's a little bit less floral than Amarige, but it's very... 
it's very much like Amarish. So yeah, I'm really happy to have that because this one's been discontinued as well. And I love finding vintage perfumes especially ones that have been discontinued. So, and it was really, really inexpensive. I think I got that for like $10 shipped. Okay, the next one I picked up is one I picked up from Sephora during one of the Sephora sales. And this is a commodity perfume and this is called Velvet. Um, and Velvet, <laughs> she's putting a cat on me. <laughs> okay, okay, kitty on my shoulder. How about you hold on to your kitty <laughs> while I finish this up? Okay, Commodity Velvet is a beautiful rose and oud combination. Um, I mean, they're a dime a dozen right now, rose and oud. This is a really beautiful one. Mm, it's perfectly balanced between the rose and the oud. Neither one overpower the other. So if you're looking for a really good rose and oud combination perfume where the rose isn't too strong the oud isn't too strong it's just beautifully blended uh velvet from commodity is a really nice one so and i got that on super super sale because it was already on sale for like 15 dollars and 50 cents and then i got it during like the 20 percent off sale i think and so yeah i got it for really cheap the next one that i picked up i'm really excited about and it was such like a it was just fate that I was going to have this, but because I've been looking for it forever. Um, this is Vivian Westwood Boudoir. So, um, my Instagram friend had told me that she had found a bottle of this and she picked it up, but it didn't smell good to her. It didn't smell right. It smelled old or like it just hadn't been stored properly. And literally within hours of her telling me about that, I found this bottle listed for um, I think like $15 shipped and it's just a partial bottle but I've been wanting to try this fragrance forever because it's kind of like a cult classic. Everybody talks about it and mine smells really really good. Mine doesn't smell old or like it's not been stored properly. Mine smells really really nice. Um, it's just kind of like a an old style fragrance. Um, it's really nice though. I really love it. I really love the bottle though. I, this lid is so, so cool. Um, and the color of that liquid is beautiful. So yeah, I found that and I'm super, super excited to have that one. Okay. The next one I picked up is an agent, agent provocateur and that is La Jante. Um, I picked this up, I don't know, back in November at some point because I heard somebody say that this was a really, really good one from Agent Provocateur. Maybe I read it on Fragrantica and people were saying that this has been discontinued. It's getting harder and harder to find and uh, it's getting more expensive. So um, I grabbed this on FragranceNet for really inexpensive, like $23 or something. And this is really, really nice. This is strong, strong stuff. This is dark, dark stuff. This is um, definitely like a beautiful winter perfume. So really excited to have that one. Okay. And I also recently picked up some things from Penhaligon. So I have never had a full bottle of a Penhaligon's fragrance. I've had samples, I've had decants, um, but I've never picked up a full bottle. This one I have loved. I have had decants of it in the past and I have loved it. And when I came across a partial bottle that somebody was selling for like no joke, $26 or $28. I jumped on it. Um, this is Penhaligon's Elanesia. And this is just a beautiful floral fragrance. My camera is having a hard time today I'm wanting to focus. There we go. Elanesia. And it's got the Penhaligon's um, in the glass on the back. And the bottom. So yeah, this was such a good deal. And they had another one, they had the uh, Love Potion one as well that they were selling. And this was just from somebody's like personal collection that she's selling off some of her perfumes. Um, she had both of them listed for 26 or $28. This was the one that I was the most interested in because I have smelled this before and I loved it. I've never smelled Love Potion before. So if any of you have, please let me know what you think of it below. I would love to know what your opinion is. Um, Oh, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous floral fragrance, though. It's a sweet, sweet floral. Um, white florals. Just really, really beautiful. I love this one. So I picked that one up. 
Uh, I also picked up on Black Friday, there is a another kind of clone house that I've been seeing a lot on um, Instagram and so I've been wanting to pick up some things from them to kind of give it a sniff just to see kind of what I think and um, on Black Friday they were having a huge sale so this was one of my Black Friday purchases. Um, I picked up a bunch of different ones so I'll go through them quickly with you. So I picked up this one called Pietra Blue. This is supposed to be a clone of uh, Armani Privé Blue Lazuli. So I got that one. I got uh, Japan Black, which is supposed to be a clone of Tom Ford Japan Noir. I got Catania Crush because uh, I wanted to get some perfumes that I already own the original of so that I could really compare and see how good of a clone they are. Um, Catania Crush is a clone of Dior Poison, the original, so um, I did pick that one up. I did test them side by side. Um, my Poison is the very original formulation from 1986. That's where my when my bottle is from. It's very vintage. Um, my bottle of original Poison is stunning. It's impeccable. It still smells exactly the way I remember it from when my mom used to wear it in the 80s. Um, I've not smelled the reformulation, like the new reformulation. So this does not smell like the vintage formulation. However, it might smell exactly like the original formulation. I have no idea. Um, I don't know why I chose this one. It was probably a bad idea knowing that my bottle is a vintage bottle and they do have a reformulated uh, version of Poison. So maybe I'll pick up a decant of the reformulated version and test those side by side. Okay, the next one I picked up is Champaka Cognac, and this is supposed to be a uh, clone, sorry, of Champaka Absolute from Tom Ford. Um, I picked up Cannabis Oud, which is supposed to be a clone of Nazamato Black Afghano. Uh, this is way, way too masculine for me. Um, it's really, really nice, though. This is a really beautiful fragrance, but not for me. It's way too masculine for me. Uh, the next one I picked up is called Turin Lights, and this is a dupe for Tom Ford's Tuscan Leather. Um, again, way, way too masculine for me. Let me show you what these bottles look like. They just come in these little 5ml um, decants, and they're really pretty black bottles, which I love because it really protects the fragrance inside. Um, there's no light that's going to get through there because it's completely opaque black, and it just comes with a white label on the front. Yeah. Okay, so that was that one. Uh, the next one I picked up is Teatro, and this is a dupe for YSL Cinema, which I do have decants of, and um, I have not tested side by side yet, but I definitely will, and I will let you know. Um, I love YSL Cinema, it's such a stunning, stunning fragrance, so. Okay, the next one I picked up is called Amor de Venezia, and this is a dupe for a niche fragrance called Herba Pura by Suspiro. And I've never sm smelled Suspiro's Herba Pura yet, but this has this has that weird note in it that I find in a lot of not just a lot of perfumes. I'm starting to find it in designer perfumes as well. But a lot of niche perfumes have this note in the base. It's in a lot of Montel perfumes. Um, and most recently, I found this in the base of Valentino, Donna, Born in Roma. And it does not work on me. But this one I did spray on my skin. And that, it's kind of like a harsh, metallic, I don't know, it's something weird. And it does something weird on my skin. But this one... It wasn't overpowering on my skin, so um, this one I think I could wear. I probably won't because I, I don't enjoy that, but um, it's a really nice fragrance. It smells really, really, well, it is niche. <laughs> it's a dupe of a niche perfume, so. Um, okay, the next one I have is called Eau de Rome, and this is a dupe of YSL Tuxedo, which I had never smelled before. Um, this Tuxedo is from their kind of... Uh, like luxury line or their, um, what am I, their like exclusive perfume line. It's nice, it's, a, it's just a really beautiful heavy floral perfume. I 
I think there's a cat beside my dryer here and it's freaking me out because she keeps making noises back there. Yeah. Okay. The next one I have is, oh, this is such a good one. This is, um, it's called Gingerbread Speziata. If I, I'm probably butchering that. Gingerbread Speziata. And this is a dupe of Kazimirati, uh, or Zerjoff, Kazimirati 1888, which I've been dying um, to try that fragrance. And I don't know what the real one smells like, but this smells so good. It's like a sweet gourmand. Oh, it's good. It's just really, really good. And I don't have the notes in front of me. And I've got too many of these. This video would be an hour long if I went through the notes. But that's a really nice one. Uh, the next one I picked up is um, called Sel Selva Africana. And this is my favorite. Out of every single one of these that I got, this is my favorite one. This is a dupe of Byredo's uh, Ball d'Afrique. I'm going to butcher that. I know I am. Um, but yeah, Byredo fragrances are so, so expensive. And oh my gosh, I've tried, I've had, uh, decants of gypsy water before, which eh, it was okay. I mean, I didn't think it was anything groundbreaking. It, it kind of reminded me of like a molecule perfume and I'm not the biggest fan of molecule perfumes. I like them, don't get me wrong, but, um, like Molecule One is beautiful. I love it. Uh, Juliet has a gun. This is not a perfume is really pretty, but they're just they're really really simple and um, Unless they're being layered with something. I'm just not a huge fan This one and Byredo perfumes remind me of molecule per perfumes the ones that I've smelled This one does as well, but there's something really beautiful about this It's kind of woody and soft and very very unisex. It's not feminine. It's not masculine it's just really, really beautiful. I love this. This makes me want to get a full bottle of the Byredo perfume, which I'm probably going to do because I I loved this so much, and I can only imagine that the original is better. So, Okay, the next one I picked up is called Ancient Syracuse, and this is a dupe of Allure Sensuelle. Um, I don't have the original. I have Allure. I don't have Allure Sensuelle. Um, this is really nice, though. And I can tell you that the next one that I have is a dupe of something that I already have, and it was a really, really good dupe. So um, I imagine that this one is too, but I really like that one. And then the last one that I picked up is called Dippendenza, and this is a dupe of Dior's Addict. And um, this one I tested side by side with the newest formulation of Dior Addict because I'm pretty sure it's not a dupe of the original formulation of Dior Addict and it smelled exactly the same. There was a little bit of difference in the initial spray, so like when I first sprayed both of them, there was some differences, but in the dry down, they smelled exactly the same. So if you're looking for a good dupe of Dior Addict, this one would be a good, um, a good dupe. So yeah, those were all of the perfumes that I picked up from the House of Fragrenza, which is a clone house. Um, I know a lot of people don't like clones or, you know, have feelings about them, so um, if you don't, then just fast forward through this part of the video. So, anyways, I just wanted to share those with you because I did pick them up during Black Friday. Okay, the next one that I picked up is one that um, I had a discovery set from uh, this house, which is Histoire des Parfums, and... Um, yeah, I have tried every single fragrance that they offer, and I love this house. I just think that it's really cool. Um, I have a degree in history, so anything that's like, I don't know, that is like this, it just, it attracts me. And like I say, I had a discovery set from this house, I don't know, probably three years ago at this point. And there were some that I loved, there were some that I hated. This was one of my top favorites from that um, set. This was one of the ones that I loved the most. So I found this for a really good price. Uh, this was like 26 bucks. This is just the um, half ounce bottle. And whoa, that was tragic. Okay, this is just the half ounce bottle and this is the Ombre 114. So um, yeah, again, just a half ounce bottle. 
I love this amber. This is a beautiful, beautiful amber perfume. Um, if you're into just straight amber perfumes, this is a really lovely one. And yeah, I got this for $26 shipped, so it was an incredible deal. Um, and I'm really happy to have this one in my collection. I have my eye on a couple others as well uh, that I know I loved from my Discovery set. Okay, and the last thing that I have to share with you is another, I told you I'm like on this Penhaligon's kick, I don't know why, but, well, really it's just because I came across these things and they were such a good deal, I had to pick them up, so um, that's why. Uh, this I came across, this is like a little Penhaligon's gift set, it's really, really beautiful. Um, so that's what it looks like, and that's what the backside looks like and this is the ladies fragrance collection this is five five mil little minis and yeah it's just really beautiful so you open up this little box I want to make sure they shouldn't fall out because they're in there pretty good but you open up this little box and it looks like this and then there are your little baby Penaligans fragrances they're so cute so this, I will take these out and show you them close up. Um, the first one in this little set is called Empressa. And I've been wanting to smell this forever because I've read that this is Kate Middleton's, like, I don't know, a perfume that she wears. And, I mean, I have to know what Kate Middleton smells like. Like, who, you know, everybody has to know what Kate Middleton <laughs> smells like, right? Like, the, cur the curiosity was killing me, so I had to know. So, uh, this is Empressa, and um, these are the cutest little baby bottles ever. And they do have the little um, Penhaligans in the glass on the back. So, yeah, this is also like a British perfume um, house and I'm an Anglophile. Uh, like I told you, I have a degree in history. I concentrated in British history, so I am, there's something wrong with me. I mean, there, it, there's not something wrong with me, but there's just, I have like, and it's almost an obsession. So I, I, I love this house just because of that. But anyways, um, Empressa, this is just a really beautiful, Mm, it's just a really beautiful, like, kind of warm floral. Um, I can't remember what this dries down on the skin to be like. I did put all of these on my skin at the same time, uh, which I would not recommend because I could not tell, you know, exactly how things smell doing it that way. But the next one that comes in this little set is called Iris Prima. And cutest little bottles ever. Oh my gosh. You just have to be really careful to pull these little little stoppers out like straight up because the whole stopper is glass. And if you like turn it at all and it even gives you like a little warning on the gift set that you've got to be sure to pull them straight out because you'll break the glass like the stopper. Mm, this is a beautiful Iris perfume. So that is Iris Prima. The next one that came in this one is another one that I was I've been dying to get my nose on, and this is Vara, and um, yeah, again, beautiful little bottle. My camera is having issues focusing today. I don't know why. It's focusing on me, okay. Charlotte, my little partner in crime here, just ditched me. Mmm, I love this one. This is beautiful. This is really beautiful. Um, Penhaligon's fragrances are ones that you're either going to love or you're going to hate. Um, a lot of them are really watery smelling, but in like the best way possible. Um, they're not like, they're not deep, dark, syrupy, complex type fragrances. They're kind of light, airy, watery, ethereal, beautiful, just, I love them. I think they're beautiful, but uh, the next one that I picked up, or not that I picked up, I'm sorry, that came in this set is Artemisia, and this is probably my least favorite that came in this set. This was one of the ones that I've really been dying to smell, um, and I have uh, a sample card of it. I just, I guess I just never have gotten around to um, you know, testing it or messing with it too much. 
This one to me is really, really, it almost smells like hairspray and it's really generic smelling. Okay, and the last one in here is one that I would have never wanted to pick up because of the name. It's called Juniper Sling. And I thought to me that I thought that this, I thought that this one was going to be really, really masculine smelling because juniper to me is not typically a note that I love in perfumery. Um, but when I got this and smelled this and tested on my skin, this smells on my skin. This dried down to be something almost exactly akin to Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. So if you're into that kind of Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue type scent, but you want something more niche or more, you know, just a little bit more sophisticated smelling, um, Penhaligon's Juniper Sling is definitely, would be to me, a good um, kind of alternative to that. So anyways, guys, those are all of my perfumes that I've kind of been collecting, gathering here and there, my what I've been buying, um, other than, you know, like my fragrance nut haul perfumes that I've already shown you. These, I believe, are all perfumes that I have not shared with you yet, so I thought I would just do a little collective haul here. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!